Hey guys, Glummery, Glummery Online. This is the secret to success episode. Uh, I'm going to, and, and stick around to the end because I'm going to give you exactly what you need to get started. So if you're struggling to make money online or you're, you're in the middle of like, you just don't know what you're doing. This is going to be super, super, super valuable for you. You need to get a pen, pause, grab a pen because you're going to want to write this stuff down because not, don't just read it. You want to write it down because when you write stuff down, you're going to get, it's going to mean way more for you. Okay. So if you like videos about how to make money online, maybe some mindset stuff, um, stuff that I do to make different, uh, different streams of affiliate or income, I'm 100% online now. Um, all my income comes from what I do here. So, um, you know, this is, this is how, it, <laughs> this is how it's working for me. Do I have good days and bad days? Yeah, absolutely. We all do. doesn't matter. Um, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notified when I do a new video and let's get started. Okay. So this is my secret. So yesterday I did a video on, on how to sell anything. I had a lot of people messaging me and then I had some people that like, it was crazy. It, it was, it was like the most bizarre thing. I had people messaging me on Facebook. I had about probably about 25 people. I get a lot of Facebook messages guys. So, um, but I had about 25 people that had just sent me a link out of the blue. Right. And I'm like, why are you sending me this link? So I look and I look back through our message conversation and I had sent them information on how to do marketing, how to be a better marketer, how not to just spam people. And some of it was like 90 days ago, some of it was six months ago, some of it was two years ago. And then all of a sudden they're just doing the exact same thing. So they fell back into their, their habit of two years ago. So that means for two years, they haven't learned anything. They haven't done anything. They're just like, like they're just sitting there installing and you're kind of like, Hey, you know what? Maybe just take me off your list. Um, Oh no, this will really, this is going to be, this is going to be huge. I'm like, well, I'm really good right now. Thanks. But, but you know, so anyways, so let's get into this. I want to give you some, some daily things that you need to be doing. And that's why you need a pen. Cause if you're not doing these things, this is what successful people do. And if you want to be successful, you need to, to do, to, to follow this list and do everything on it, guys, not just some of it, everything on it. This is going to be your time. Like all, a lot of this stuff can be, can be just like little, little tiny and then go move on to the next thing. But every day you have to sort of go have this list somewhere in front of you, wherever you are. Maybe, uh, you know, w w if you're at work, it's, it's, it's on your, your pictures or whatever. If you're driving is stick it to your dashboard. If you work on, if you work on a computer, put it up, put it up on your screensaver or something like that, but write this list down and, and really think about it. And I'm going to just touch on these things, but but it's, it's really, really, this is, this is what you need to be doing. And, and I started to have success when I actually took myself serious as a business. And I started to applying all these things. And this, that was a few years ago. And as I did that, my, my, I saw my business start to grow. So first things, first things, get up early guys. You need to get up early. You need to wake up early and be uh, be, be, get stuff done. Right. Right. You need to be productive first thing in the morning. Like don't stay up. I, and I do it sometimes still my wife and I will like, Oh, let's watch one more show, you know, cause we, we've got three small kids. By the time we get them to bed, it's nine, 10 o'clock. Sometimes, sometimes I'm doing my videos. And by the time I get that done, right. It's like, Oh, let's watch, let's hang out and spend like, you know, a few minutes together and we'll watch a show. Well, we've made it now. It's like, nothing past 1130, even though it's like our favorite episode, it's like, you know, 1130, we got to get up early. I want, I like to be up around six o'clock to get going. Some people like to get up at five. I like to get up at six. It gives me about an hour most days before my kids get up and I can get a ton done in that hour. So that's number one, get up early, wake up early. This is what successful people do. Number two, treat failures like gold. Don't just get discouraged. Look at what you're doing. Look at your failures and go, what did I do? How can I learn from that? How can I do it differently? What is, what is, is, what, what can I take from that? Failures are not failures. They're just, they're, they're just steps of the learning, right? You know, just think about it. If every, if, if every single human being gave up when they were learning to walk the third time they fell, no one would be walking, Right. We have to, we keep going, we keep going, we learn, we learn a little bit more, we learn a little bit more. And sometimes, guys, sometimes it takes five, six, ten years before you get it right. But hopefully you're going to have little successes along the way. So when you, when you have a failure, don't, don't dwell on it. Just, just move on. 
just move on treat it like like okay what did i learn why did that fail um maybe i don't know why it failed maybe it, why it failed will come to me later but we need to be testing something else because that's not working so let's move on and test and don't 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 get upset about it ignoring conformity this, this is why you're here, right? You don't want to do the nine to five. Great. You're already doing that. You're here. You're listening to my channel. So you're ignoring conformity. Conformity is go to school, get, you know, get your degree, go get a job, work your nine to five, 40 years from there, retire, blah, 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 blah. Right. That's conformity. Um, an entrepreneur, even though you may be doing similar things as other entrepreneurs, if you have the entrepreneur mind, you're not quite doing it the same. You are looking for different angles. You're looking for the different holes that, that other people aren't doing. And you're, you're doing that, right? So ignoring conformity, you're here. So you're probably doing that already. Number four, super important. Read every day, guys. Read something every day. Even if it's like 15 minutes, even if it's like, even if it's online, read something every day. Re your mind um, processes information differently than listening to it. And even if you're a slow reader, read it processes and it also relaxes your mind. It makes you 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 your brain the elasticity. So really cool thing, our brains can rewire itself all the time, right? It's called neuro elasticity, and what you what you need what, that only happens when our brains are in in like a, 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 a something called active play, which is it's no longer working. It's being distracted on something that so <laughs> this is what our brains do all day guys they filter out 95 to 98 percent of all the stimuli in our environment so that we can focus on the two to five percent that we need to to get whatever done that's what our brains are doing constantly they're just working 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 just to just to do whatever function is in front of us now if we take that function that's in front of us and we go into reading, right? We're, we're going to do active play reading. That is letting our minds relax because it, it, it's focusing on something that it can be creative with. And the rhythm of your reading is going to help filter, help your, your brain filter. It's amazing stuff. It's, it's, it's very, very cool stuff. So make sure you read every day. Read something every day. Hopefully you're reading, um, you know, the books that are going to help you uh, just find entrepreneur books. Go go Google best entrepreneur books. Right, like I'll, I'll maybe I'll put a link, um, or I'll I'll I'll, put, I'll find something for you. Like five really good books that you should be reading, and go back and read them over and over, right? Um, oh, here's this is super important. And this is, I got some of the guys I talked to today. Um, who was it that someone tried to call me today and I wasn't on? So I was, I was guys, if you want to call me, make sure you message me and say, Hey, I would like to have a conversation about X. Uh, I get people calling me again from Facebook all the time, and I'm like, What did you want to talk about? Uh, I just want to talk to you. It's like, No, like, like, let's have you know, let's have a plan for our time because my time is super precious, and I'm not gonna sit on the phone with you talking about nothing. So, um one thing that you need to shift, and this is super important, shift your brain from current expenses to potential profit, right? So when you look at something, you you make a decision, right? And, and at the end of this, there, there'll be a decision to spend like seven bucks. Now you can go, ooh, is that a, is that a current expense? Or am I going to spend that for potential profit? You need to shift. If you're a true entrepreneur, your mind will be shifting. It's like, hmm, how much will that seven bucks make me? Not, who? how much is that going to cost me? Got it? So you need to start looking. And this is what I say all the time. Your your online business is going to cost you a few hundred bucks a month. That's the reality, right? But what, but you get to decide how much, what potential that 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 that's going to make you, right? I look at it like this. So... I, you know, maybe there's a software, maybe you have to make a whole bunch of videos for your business, or you have to make, you know, you're, you're doing advertising video, you're doing YouTube videos, you know, and you can do it kind of the hard way. And it takes about 45 minutes for each one, but there's this software out there and it's kind of expensive. Maybe it's like 150 bucks or $200, right? And you pay for it. Or maybe it's like 30 bucks a month or something like that, but it cuts the time down from the video making from 45 minutes down to 15 minutes. Right. So now you can make three more videos in the time that's making your it's, it's making one. So will those three videos, the potential of what their income is, is that going to cover that cost? Absolutely. 
absolutely. So think about it. So so to move your move your brain mindset from current expenses to potential profit. What is this going to what what is this this cost going to to uh, make me? All right, uh, make sacrifices. Guys, make sacrifices. Sometimes you got to do it. And your my wife gets mad at me. My kids get mad at me. And I go, guys, I got to go do this. And they're like, hmm. You know, they know it, they get over it. But, but you know, I'm not saying sacrifice your entire life. But you got to make sacrifices. And sometimes you got to go, yeah. And then you kind of feel crappy. And you just go, what? hey, I got to go do this. You know, I got to. This time is important. I need to invest this time for us later on. Right. So make sacrifices. Um, oh, this is really good. Creative writing. Guys, write something every day. Even if you're like, I'm the worst writer ever. doesn't matter. Write. Be creative. Start a blog. Po- start blogging. And even if your blogs, even if your blogs are like two or three paragraphs, start doing it. You will get better. Your brain, your brain has a way when, when you write, like just like reading, when your brain writes stuff down, it actually lets you be inspired. And it can actually create clarity for what you're doing. So maybe you're having, maybe you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, this or this or this. Write down, a, write down a mind map of how you should do it, right? Or blog it like, hey guys, we're doing experimentation. Like, hey, I, hey guys, I'm doing this, this uh, daily method of operation for the next 30 days. And I'm going to blog each day uh, for, you know, 15 minutes. I'm just going to write and I'm just going to post it as a blog post. And this is what it's going to be. And I'm going to show you the process I'm going through right? It's a great way. It's a great thing to get out there, right? You're, you're being consistent. You're sharing. People want to know what, what it's like. They want, they want, if they're, they're going to look, look to you. Uh, I want to get through this quickly. Um, a little bit of mild procrastination. My wife is, is amazing at this. So she'll get a project or something she has to do. And she will uh, literally, she will wait till the very last minute. She pulls all nighters a lot. Um, why does she do it? Because she's a perfectionist. And if she starts too early, she's going to be mulling over it and it will actually take her 10 times the time. So instead she basically builds it in her mind. And then at the last possible moment, she executes it and she executes it at such a high level. It's amazing, right? I can't do that. I have to, I have to have it done Sooner than I do mild procrastination, but I don't do it like at the 11th hour. I'm kind of like a more of a, the ninth hour or the (laughs) eighth hour guy, right? Like I don't like to to be ready against clock. I also don't like to be late. So, um, so that's really important. A little bit of mild procrastination will, 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 especially if you're, um, don't put, but don't put off stuff because you want to just lay around. If you have other work to do or you're really busy, you know, a little bit of procrastination is great because it makes you execute at a higher level because you've got a deadline, right? And you're like, I got to get this done. And you allow yourself to to be more productive and 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 basically not not focus on the minutia and, and be like bogged down in like, oh, I got to get this one thing, right? Okay, um, self-improvement, guys. Self-improvement, self-improvement, self-improvement. You're listening to this. This is self-improvement, right? You're writing down this list of things that you're going to do. You're going to stick on your computer or whatever you're going to do it. Self-improvement. Every day, guys, you got to be looking. Watch a couple of video. Watch, go watch Tony Robbins. Go watch, you know, uh, depending on what, what industry you're in, go watch the guru of that industry for motivation. You know, Grant Cardone, whoever, Ray Higdon, whoever you're into, go watch those people and get inspired right? Take what they do. Work on your self-improvement. Um, another one is networking. Make sure you're a good networker. Uh, reach out, help people. Don't be afraid to just help people for the sake of helping people with no expectations of things to come back. Networking is a two-way street. It's not just, it, it's give and take and, and give people referrals. They will, they will return it back or they, or I talked about this the other day. It may not be a direct referral this way, but they might refer to someone who refers to someone who who says, "Oh, you gotta go talk to Glenn, right?" And it comes back around. So be a really good networker. Don't don't completely block yourself off. Um, exercise consistently, even if it even if it's getting a bouncing ball uh, uh, that you sit on at your at your desk. Maybe instead of taking the elevator, you, you go upstairs. Um, I walk my kids to school. If I don't walk my kids to school, I notice I'm less productive. So when I well, actually bus to school and then I walk back, even in the rain. And then when I go to pick them up, I walk to the school and then we bus back, right? My kids are too small. They'll get too tuckered out. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good 25 minute walk. So, um, but exercise daily, it's going to make you so much better. And, and, and lastly, guys, 
a little daily meditation. And, and I'm not talking about just an om, right? No, no, no. You can you can motiv- you can daily you can meditate in many different ways. If you have to, uh, YouTube has a ton of meditation. Um, just just type in meditation, like you know, or, or, or success meditation, and you can put it on, and you and and it will it will chant achievement stuff for you, or just sit in a quiet room and just reflect. Right? It doesn't matter how you're doing it. It's it's just that you're doing it where you're taking the time to let your brain basically go basically shut down so that's why you need to get into a quiet room or something where your brain can can turn off for a minute and stop filtering doing that filtering thing where it can go (sighs) remember the neuro elasticity it's going to it's going to help you this is how we adapt we need our brains to, to be rewiring as all the time because when we hit roadblocks we hit futile roadblocks we have we can't just go ah we have to go we have to let our brain uh, take it in and then we got to figure out how our brain will allow us to adapt so when we hit it again we're like oh that's fine i know how to adapt that done so hopefully this is really really helpful for you guys now below is a business challenge and why i wanted to do this list is because i'm finding that i'm giving this link to a lot of people that are probably not entrepreneurs they probably want a preneur or they, they they think they want to be an entrepreneur, but they're not really an entrepreneur because they're not willing to do the work. They don't, they don't, this list doesn't mean anything to them. So if this list really means something to you, I want you to click the link below and I want you to go through this business challenge. And you've probably heard me talk about it before, but there's something really important about this business challenge because it's not like a, a normal affiliate marketing or you join this program and you go get your affiliate link and you go spam it all over the place no this is completely different this actually walks you through a 15-day business challenge and you may say it seems like that seems like a long time but no it's not it's really important because what it does it sets you up for success you actually have to go you unlock things day by day by day by day and it lets you actually get the information get the lesson get the the exercise that you need to be doing done without a whole bunch of other extraction or trying to jump ahead and missing steps, right? Because once you follow these steps, this is where the success comes in. And maybe at the end of that 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 journey, you may go, wow, this isn't for me. This is nothing what I want to do. I didn't realize it was going to be this. I just want to make some, you know, extra money. And if you do want to just make some extra money, that's great. Message me. I've got some great network marketing businesses that you can do on the side. You know, are you going to make a ton of money? No, but you can make a little bit of money. Absolutely. And I can show you exactly. Spend half an hour, 45 minutes a day, and I can show you exactly how to make a little bit of money. You don't want to make 500 bucks more a month? No problem. Easy peasy. It's just, it's. but you have to be committed. You have to be consistent. Uh, but if you really want to make life-changing business or money starting now, there's some big changes that you need to do. And this list is just the beginning. Go through the link below and follow, do the 15 days. It'll be the best thing you will do for you in your life. Whether you continue on after that, I don't know, right? But I know you will come out of it the other side of those 15 days, a different person, right? You will come out a different person. You will either be like, yes, this is for me, or... You're going to be like, uh, I don't need those thoughts anymore about being an entrepreneur because it's not for me. All right, guys, I hope this is helpful. Make sure that you subscribe uh, and 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 get notified for what I'm doing. Now, if you're beyond this, if you're like, yeah, Glenn, I already do all that stuff. I want I want I want I want more money making things. Click the link. Click some of the links below, guys. This is where I'm making my money. This is how I'm making my money. These links. Right. I blog. I have my YouTube channel. Yes, do I go on Facebook? Yes, I go on and I promote my YouTube videos on Facebook. But I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook anymore. I I find it a a really, I'm just tired of that platform. Um, (laughs) I I love Twitter. I go actually go and I find my news on Twitter and I I just, I find it entertaining. I find my news on Twitter. Um, Facebook, I find, I don't know what, it's just, meh. Uh, Instagram, meh. I'm, I'm like, uh, it's, it's too confining for me. It's too like, like I get to see this thing. I get to link at it and, and it's too much like, you know, Oh, you have to achieve this level in order to unlock this stuff. I was like, yeah, 
I'm not into that kind of gamification of a of a social platform, right? Uh, everything there's, there's it's not a really good marketing thing. It's just a way to stay on Instagram. And I know people are gonna go, no, Glenn, it's the most amazing marketing thing. That's great. How about it? For me, I use it. I have a decent following on Instagram. I'm not I'm not consistent with it. I'm I'm it's just it doesn't excite me enough, right? This excites me. Being able to talk to you guys every day, being able to put these videos out, going back and, and looking at my old work and go, wow, this is really cool. Look at I, I'm seeing myself grow as a as a coach, as a as a mentor. Um, I see myself grow as a presenter. So it's really cool to see this this process that I'm going through. And now I'm at 20 minutes already. So if you've stuck around till the end, you know what? If you've stuck around to the end of this video, shoot me a message. I want to give you something. I want to give you a free $300 training. Okay. So 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 go click put a message below, put a comment below and say, Glenn, give me the $300 training. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my products page on my website and I'm going to set up a new uh, product, right? For, 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 um, I'm going to set up a new product. And what you will do is I will, I will set up and I will give you a complimentary, um, I don't know what it'll be like an attraction marketing product or something like that. And, uh, yeah, actually I know which one I'll give you. Yeah, just message the message. I want to say I want the free training, um, but you gotta you gotta have made it to this far in order to get it. <laughs> Don't just write a message underneath. All right, guys. Cheers. Have a great night. Bye.